Good morning, guys. I'm exhausted. I got barely any sleep last night probably an hour or two like the last time I looked at the clock it was 6 30 a.m because I was just like staring at my phone and um and then I woke up I remember waking up when Jim left for work at 8 30 so that's like maybe an hour or two that I really like don't remember so like, I remember every single minute of last night I have an awesome day like I'm getting together with my friend Kata. You'll remember her from a previous vlog. She let me her veil for my wedding. So we're getting together today and we're gonna go around the mall for last minute Christmas shopping. So first of all, I'm dying to see her and I'm excited to see her. And also I need to finish up shopping. So there's no way I'm gonna cancel. And I just hope that the bitter cold outside will wake me up because my eyes feel so like heavy and crusty. Um, yeah. So it's kind of good that it's really, really cold because I'm wearing a hat uh, for two reasons. The cold and also because my roots are so greasy and I didn't wash it. Because if I would have washed it, it would... I don't like really blow drying my hair and if I would have washed it, it would have still been damp to go outside in this bitter cold. And I'm going to work out with Jim when he gets home from work. So I didn't want to wash it. You know. You know... Like, people who work out regularly, you don't wash every time you work out because then it's going to be, like, almost every day. That's not good for my hair. That's not good for my laziness. Like, I just don't want to do that. Washing my hair is an ordeal. That's half of the reason why I cut it a lot, but it's still so long. It takes forever to dry, and I don't like using heat because I want to... Anyways, I'm on a random tangent this vlog is probably going to be like weird because I'm half asleep and trying to just put on my clothes this morning. I dropped every single article twice each, trying to put a little mascara. I dropped that mascara like 10 times, not 10 times. If you really want to know, I dropped it four times. It's just as bad as 10 to me. So let's just hope that today I don't fall on my face. But anyways, uh, before I forget the veil, I gotta go get the veil because the last time I hung out with her, I forgot the veil, which was the whole time point we got together. So I'm gonna get the veil ready and I'm gonna write a list of all the things I need to buy because you know me, if I don't write a list, I forget. So I gotta write everything I need to pick up at the mall and everything and yeah. Okay, so for a little update, the last time I vlogged was my uh, biggest regrets video which <clears throat> I said that my biggest regret was going all out on my honeymoon because it's been extremely difficult to get back on track I should have just um, taken it easy maybe just indulged at dinners and still worked out every day but I completely took that entire week off completely ate what I wanted morning noon and night and that was my biggest regret and I've shared a lot of frustration in that video so what's been happening since then because the last video I posted was a recipe video I didn't really talk to you guys um I'm like I'm still in my rut I don't like but I keep trying every single day um it seems like the days that my food are on point I don't have the motivation to go work out and then when I have good workouts, I seem to overeat or eat junk. So I have not found my balance yet. I have not found like my consistent balance. Like consistency is key, right? You know, you can be amazing for a day, but it's not going to do anything if the next day you're bad. And if you keep going back and forth, which is what I'm doing, you're kind of just maintaining. It's fine if I was maintaining my pre-wedding weight but I'm maintaining my post honeymoon weight and I know it's just 10 pounds, but it's a real 10 pounds. Like carrying it in my stomach is, I don't feel the same. I feel so weighed down, so sluggish, so bloated, so awful, so tired. I carry it in my face, which honestly makes me not want to vlog. I feel uh, very self-conscious to put up the camera 
uh, take pictures of myself in the gym. You'll notice that like my YouTube and Instagram isn't as like regular as usual. I usually would post three times a day on Instagram and a couple times a week on YouTube and I feel like I've slowed down because I feel not myself. So yeah, like I'm frustrated that I'm not able to be consistent. Like I'll have a great day or a great two days and then fall off and that's what's keeping me just on this even line that I don't wanna be. So that's the update. Um, all I can say is that I keep going like there's never, I think to myself like, oh, the old gen would have given up at this point, absolutely. So I think about how the old me would give up, but I've never once thought about me giving up. There's, there's, that's not an option. Just these 10 pounds that I've gained um, is so severe to me and has affected my life so severely. Um, my emotional state, my mental state, my physical state, just 10 pounds. I can't even imagine being back at 255 pounds and if I give up or fall off track or don't focus on health and fitness and stuff like that, that, that weight will creep up real fast, faster than I think or you think or anybody thinks. It'll creep up fast. So the fact that these 10 pounds are so traumatic for me, I know that there's no way I'm gonna go back to the old gen and I like I don't want to and I can't and absolutely not but yeah for some reason I can't seem to shake the rut yeah I have a hard time um like once I'm in I'm good two and a half years with smooth sailing I mean little like ups and downs but this is the biggest down and yeah like I got too used to being lazy again not working out eating whatever I wanted that it's like, I can't, but once I do, I know I will be fine, and your support has been absolutely amazing. I'm blown away every time I need, every time like I talk about what's going on with me, whether it's good or bad, you guys are so beyond supportive and encouraging, and I think what means the most to me is when you share your stories, is when you say to me, you're not alone, Jen, this is me and this is what I've done and it's so similar to you and don't worry we've all been through it and or you know people telling me I'm in it now like I know how you feel or somebody saying I was in it but I got out of it so don't worry just keep trying like you guys are amazing you guys are helping me more than you probably think I think I'm on going on adrenaline right now I'm getting all like hyper but I still feel my body feels like a, a truck hit it so yeah, I'm one of those people who cannot function without sleep. Um, yeah, like eight hours is something I my body needs or else I just like walk into walls, drop things, stutter, don't make any sense, babble, story after story, don't let people talk. Oh, good luck today, Kata. I do not know about this. So I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have an awesome day and I'll update you when I can. And yeah, I don't know how much more I'm gonna film or what's going on. We'll see. This could be the worst vlog ever. Look how pretty the Christmas tree is. At night it looks better when it's all like lit. Wow. It looks cold. Whoa, whoa, it is cold. So we've been walking around the mall all afternoon and we stopped and got this little like island way treat. It's like a fruit so sorbet. This one's 140 calories and it's in like in the pineapple. So it tastes so delicious. This one tastes like a pina colada. It's a nice little treat, 140 calories, not bad. You got the apple. Mine's almost done. She's almost done but it's funny because it's like in an actual apple so she can actually eat it but it's frozen 
So yeah, we're almost done our Christmas shopping. And it's so, snowing so bad outside. So we're gonna stay here a little bit longer. Who's this? Kata just got home. Wow. Like it's so funny when we got to the mall, the weather was fine. And then when we left, like by the time we were ready to leave, it was a complete snowstorm. And I feel like the second people see any sort of precipitation falling from the sky, they forget how to drive. They forget everything they've ever learned. I don't get it. Anyways, so it, yeah, it took forever. We were at the mall for, for many, many hours. We got all of our shopping done. We did a lot of walking. It was really, really good. I just picked up my mail um, as I was coming upstairs and I got one of my thank you cards back. And this is not the first time. Like I've been getting thank you cards sent back to me. I don't know why. I think people are getting confused because I put my return address on the back to seal the envelope, the sticker. And I feel like, cause like all, all of these addresses were the addresses I used for the wedding invitations and the invitations got to the people. So obviously the addresses are correct. So I don't know why I'm receiving them back other than, other than maybe like the postman or the post office gets confused and sends it to the return address. Like, I don't get it. <sighs> Pizza flyers, temptation, temptation, bills, bills, more temptation. The only interesting thing I have is this package, which is, oh, Teamy. Um, oh my gosh, I ordered Teamy a long time ago and it just got here like that's ridiculous wow my scissors are great quality um you know what I even okay I ordered online something for my sister for Christmas I ordered November 7th specifically to give myself a lot of time for it to arrive here for Christmas and it still hasn't come. Not only has it not come, but I haven't even gotten an email saying that they've shipped it because they're supposed to send emails to say they shipped it. So now we're like a week to Christmas and I don't have the main part of my sister's gift. I just have like the add-ons, the little like add-on gift. So I can't even show you what I bought at the mall. I was actually going to show you everything I've got at the mall, like a little mini haul from my day. But now I'm thinking my sister watches my videos. I can't show you because I had to rebuy a gift for her because the gift didn't come. I totally forgot I got the bigger one. Guys, this is the 20 ounce. I'm so excited. Um, let me show you. So this is the size, this one is 13 and a half ounces. This is what I usually ha I have this in uh, black, green, and pink. And this is the 20 ounce. So it's a lot bigger and like thicker. So yeah, because lately I've been filling this up twice, like having um, a second tumbler of tea in the mornings. So I'm like, I just want a big one. So yeah, I got that one. I'm excited. I honestly want to collect all the colors. I'm such a collector. When I get into something, I don't just like get one. I want to collect like movies, books. I like to collect things. Oh, I have, let me show you guys this. I have these inserts. So like snowflakes, candy canes, pretty gold snowflakes and reindeer and stuff. I'm gonna put, um, I think, hmm, debating. 
between gold or the white snowflakes. I like the white snowflakes. I like them all though. I like the, the gold reindeer and the white snowflakes. Maybe this way. There we go. Oh, it matches up perfectly. That's so nice. I don't even know if you can tell though with this lighting because I'm like pretty much sitting in the dark. <clears throat> how pretty. Okay, lighting, get out of here. It's so pretty. I love it. That's cool. It's like makeup for your tumbler. Okay, what else? I was gonna show you what I got at the mall, but I can't. Sorry. Um so I'm just going to make some dinner now. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to make. I'm probably going to throw some veggies and potatoes in the oven to roast and take out some steak for Jim because I have some in the freezer. And then when Jim gets home, we're going to go downstairs and work out. But I like was going to do a regular workout, but I didn't realize that we would be walking so much today. We walked for hours and I was like over three hours of walking um yeah it was like three hours of walking so I think I'm good for cardio today and I'm gonna stick to weights when I go to the gym so I'm gonna end the vlog now so that I can edit and upload while Jim is still on his way home and then when he gets home I can just like we can just be together and we can eat dinner and work out and everything if I wait till I'm done eating and working out to start editing and uploading then I'll probably be up till four o'clock in the morning like usual and I don't like that and I don't want to wait to upload because I hate when vlogs are a week late like to me I like when it's up the next day when it's a day in the life vlog so yeah that's what I'm gonna do and if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like share all that stuff really helps uh, me out a lot it helps to grow my channel and it helps to like um, get it more seen I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers and 10,000 is such a cool milestone for me um, so funny like a year ago this time when I have you know a hundred subscribers I was just so excited and I was like oh my god there's a hundred people who are interested in my random boring days you guys have been like my number one support system so you guys are awesome I love you and we will see you in the next video say bye Oliver bye Oliver bye do you want me to make him bark who is it who is it That's it. Usually you go on a big tangent. Anyways, bye guys.